Coming out of high school, Zach Schreiber chose to play football at McDaniel College in Maryland. The D3 school was closer to home for him, and Schreiber felt he would have a better chance to see the field. However, after a semester, Schreiber felt the Lord leading him to Liberty University. I would prayed about it, I saw about it, and I talked to people about it. Um, you know, Liberty seemed like a great choice. God was opening doors that I couldn't even imagine, you know. I had applied, got in right away, you know, was able to meet with the coaches. Um, everything seemed to work out in the right way. As a walk-on, Schreiber saw time on special teams last year and during the Kentucky Wesleyan game recorded his first tackle. Zach Schreiber was in on that hit. He gets all excited about that when he pops up. You tell everyone you're on the team, but until you actually like put stats up and you know get playing time, that's when that's when you actually contribute. Whatever you're doing in practice is uh, a contribution to the team. But when you're when you're producing, that's uh, definitely important. So that, it was a it was a good game. Schreiber was looking forward to having a good season this year, but over the summer, his health took a turn for the worst. One day he started having severe abdominal pains. He went to the hospital and they told him it was a bacterial infection. Schreiber was given some antibiotics and was released. However, the pain increased and was accompanied by frequent trips to the restroom. Schreiber lost 10 to 15 pounds over a couple of weeks. I thought it was pretty serious. You know, he was getting tests run at the hospital and stuff, and they, they didn't really know what it was at first. So, I mean, I thought I'd, I started getting a little, uh, I mean, I guess scared for him, you know. His parents were also concerned and suggested he go back home to Maryland. A family friend pulled some strings to get Schreiber an appointment at John Hopkins Hospital. There, he was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, or UC. There's probably three... Um, tiers of ulcerative colitis and I was in the top top of the you know severe tier which is like you know either surgery or you have to be on some you know biologics which is some uh, serious medication or you have to get surgery. With his health in question doctors told Schreiber his football future was doubtful. She was just saying you know by the way that it looks right now we don't know if you're gonna be able to play this year or not. That's when it really set in for me um, to have this you know what I had thought was, you know, a given to play football uh, taken away from me so fast. In a month, Schreiber lost more than 40 pounds, but his faith never wavered. God laid that on my heart and said, Zach, you're going to be back, you know. Use, use this to glorify me. Oh. Oh. Man, that's why I kept mm. reminding myself, you know, mm. day in and day out. Keep working hard because, like, you know, God's got a plan for you. God's going to use this. You know, he's not going to just... Uh, allow me to suffer through this and not bring any glory out of it. I texted or called him every other day or so, um, and it was just an encouragement to me about how positive he was about it. Schreiber gets an infusion every couple of months that has allowed him to continue playing football. The UC was ha like hindering me from having a normal life, you know. So a lot, that, that medication, you know, has really helped me leaps and bounds. And overcoming his illness has helped Schreiber appreciate the game of football more. You go through the motions sometimes, and you don't really uh, think about how blessed you are, like when you're going to practice, or when you're going to workouts, or you're going to film, or you're going to study, anything, you know? You don't think about that. You're not like, man, I'm a Division One athlete. Man, like, I get to do this every day. I think that God opened my eyes and was like, you know, every moment, that you're on this field every moment that you're with these guys, take advantage of it, you know. Be blessed and thank and, and thank me for, you know, what I've done in your life. Ever since that, I put some tape on my wrist, I put his number on there, and then I'd write uh, nothing for granted, just to, just to remind myself, you know, just that it can be taken from me just like that, to, to not take it for granted. As a pre-med major, Schreiber says his recovery process was confirmation that he's on the right career path. I had a follow-up with my doctor and just the smile on her face that she had like after I had said that I'm doing a lot better and uh, was able to you know start you know start gaining weight again you know getting back to a healthy life you know she had just had the biggest smile on her face she was it was just like she felt like she had done her job I want to do the exact same thing in, in people's lives I want to be I want to make an impact it's evident Shriver's perseverance has already made an impact on his teammates